Hi, this video is to show you the value checker we have on step four, um, five and also nine. Um, so what you'll notice is that we've highlighted um, some cells green and that will be the maximum and the minimum value for those columns. So in this case, uh, the living room has the maximum floor area and the landing has the minimum um, value of the floor area and we we go through this for all the columns here and it's really just to prompt you if you're happy with those values um, and I'll go through a couple of uh, instances where um, there would be some issues uh, and show you the benefit of, of reducing uh, using this to reduce human error the accept value checker here will go through those green cells so although you can click on them individually as per usual and change them um, our value checker will um, systematically go through each of those cells just to make sure you're happy with it so it's actually highlighting the minimum value here um, stating that the bathroom has the, the smallest window area and the dining room has the maximum one the note here um, should read for you this is uh, this value checker will prompt you to check the largest and smallest numbers to ensure you haven't mistyped a value or if the decimal place is incorrect it remains the user's responsibility to ensure that all input values are correct. This feature is a help tool for the green highlighted areas only. So I progress there. And what I'm going to do is just show you um, we can easily um, edit, use this as the edit feature as well. So if I go back to, say, um, uh, the living room regarding the external door. Yeah, I go to edit and say actually it wasn't 2.2, it was 2.0 and save that and go to next. And that value's changed there for me. So um, just using this value checker button um, as it prompts you through um, all those cells. So I'm happy with that. And like I said, I will I will change on these values in a minute to, to show you um, a deliberate mistake. Click to next um, on the rooms with vaulted ceilings. So bedroom four in this case, the um, the walls, because it's a type eight, <clears throat> we need to specify wall A, C and D. So if I just click here, that's an external one. And then that's internal as well. So I'm happy with that. So value checker prompted me there. Go to next, next. And on step nine, it shows me the actual heat loss um, results there. And the value checker, the auto value checker has not been prompted because um, it doesn't, it's not searching for any, well, sorry, it has been searching for any um, errors, um, certainly for the external walls um, for negative values. So what I'm gonna go in is go, I'm gonna go back to step four and change something. So the kitchen has a large external wall and it has um, a, a, some, some windows in there as well. So I'm gonna deliberately change this to a small value. So 0.5 external wall length uh, with a room height of 2.4, that gives me a, a surface area. Certainly won't, won't be able to cater for this, this window here, this large window here. So now when I jump straight to step nine, I should have a negative value appearing. So there we go. Um, the value checker uh, prompts and it says check this value it should not be negative should not be negative for external walls ensure your dimensions are entered in correct with steps four and five so this is a really good example of, of, of how this uh, eliminates human error um, like I said just for the minimum maximum values for for each of the columns go back to step three sorry step four and I can go in and just change that can't really recall actually what that original value is but you get the idea how that works. Now, one of my main um, motivations for creating this uh, value checker was because I had seen certain instances where some, some people had um, entered in a very large value, for example, uh, external wall length, 456 meters. Um, and in certain instances, they missed the decimal point a couple of times um, so you ended up something like that rather than say 0.5 so um, uh, hence the reason why we're looking at the maximum 
and minimum values just to revo avoid instances such as those. So the idea is to, yes, it will highlight green, but also as you're clicking through, it will bring to your attention that, yeah, bedroom bedroom one, the minimum value of, yes, I've, I've misplaced the decimal uh, point here. And here, uh, clearly, um, it's too large of a number. So if you go in here, for example, and actually that should have been, for example, that. You can save that. And edit that as well. So that should have been point 0.5. Go next. I can just close that down in fact actually so it reverts back to what I what I thought I should have had so there's the value checker um, let us know how you get on